Random variables. To understand a random variable, we first need to understand the idea of an experiment. Here, an experiment is just a procedure that produces an outcome. Your doctor checking your blood pressure is an experiment. The number of grammar errors my boss finds in my writing is an experiment. Me playing Apex Legends is also an experiment. What's common here? The outcomes of these experiments cannot be determined in advance. They are random. The set of all possible outcomes in an experiment is called the sample space. This is where a random variable comes in. Strictly speaking, a random variable is just a function. This function takes in a sample space, like all the possible values that my blood pressure can take, and outputs a number. This number corresponds to what your doctor sees or observes. A random variable is variable because it can take on possibly many different values. And it is random because we can't predict what that value might be in advance. This is why probability is important to statistics. All random variables have probability distribution functions, or PDFs for short. Let's say this PDF describes the weight I see when I weigh myself. The higher the PDF is, the more likely I will see that value and vice versa. PDFs and their close cousin, the CDF, are what describe the structure or law of a random variable. Depending on what the experiment is, a random variable can either be discrete or continuous. Continuous random variables have sample spaces on a continuum, whereas discrete values do not do this. Where would we see random variables? When we collect data, we are collecting realizations of a random variable, usually denoted with the lowercase letter. If we collect many observations and observe their histogram, it will restart to resemble the PDF that they come from. Many times we assume our data follows a commonly known distribution. The key word here is assumption. Bad things can happen when we make incorrect assumptions. Traders here working the phone say a lot of their customers are freaked out. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? But that's a whole other video. This was Pocketstat on random variables. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.